2020 has been an unprecedented year in Poland Regional Hospital's history. The COVID-19 event hit our hospital family hard this year, but in true form, everyone stepped up. The truth is, we couldn't have done it without each other. We acted quickly and with our typical ingenuity and grit. We put up a COVID-19 testing trailer in record time, educated ourselves, and made sure our people were safe with necessary PPE. We even created new kinds of PPE. People in our community know this and are grateful for having Pullman Regional Hospital in their community. On this 16th anniversary of Pullman Regional Hospital on Bishop Boulevard, we are foregoing our typical in-person party at SEL, and we are recognizing our special work in a very challenging year. We asked staff to tell us who they saw really step up to the challenge during this time. Due to time constraints, we were only able to feature some of the people, but at the end of this video, we will list all those who are recognized by their peers for stepping up to the challenge. Thank you to everyone. Hi there, this is Pete Mickelson, Medical Director of the Emergency Department and Employee Health. I'd like to talk about a few people who really stepped up to the challenge as it uh, applies to COVID-19 and addressing this pandemic in our community. Shari Larson, she transitioned from the travel clinic to COVID testing. She was early on uh, out in the trailer, testing uh, a lot of people, partnering with Bluce Medical, setting this up. And uh, all of our efforts led to the current testing center, uh, which we uh, recently buttoned up. We've tested several thousand more patients in the testing center. Dr. Lightfoot, uh, early on, uh, decided that he was gonna take a leadership role in the testing, in the testing center last spring. He spent probably, oh, 60 to 80 hours of his own time, uncompensated administrative time, working with the trailer and uh, everything that goes into sustaining it. Jennifer Matera, uh, lab director, and Michelle Reynolds, assistant lab director, have worked tirelessly to coordinate testing for patients, staff, providers. They've uh, very openly introduced new types of testing, got the tests where they needed to go, and got the results in a timely manner. Janine Maines is the, uh, she leads the registration, among uh, many other things she does in the hospital. She uh, put on, I think, 20,000 uh, steps per day when the testing center reopened uh, this fall. And uh, she uh, led the registration effort to quickly uh, register and to make sure that the operations were running smoothly. These are all folks who are all, uh, like we say, heroes in healthcare who have really stepped up to the challenge of taking care of uh, our community as it applies to uh, COVID-19. Thank you very much. Thank you to our quality team, Debbie Heisterman, Diane Wittick, and Hannah Kimball. They kept us apprised of every recommendation and mandate and opinion from the CDC and WISHA and disaster management. I would say eight months later, our regulatory and infectious disease management has done a great job. And I appreciate the quality team leading us through this. Then there's Carrie Cohen and that Summit Therapy staff. They set the standard well, so that now Nikki Nolt, Aaron and Amanda, they can run this whole front door screening process and it's just like clockwork. They do have the process down to a real science and it's almost like they're our front door greeters. I don't know if we'll ever wanna go back. I do want to thank uh, a group of folks uh, that have really stepped up in 2020 during this pandemic. I do want to give a shout out to the Summit Therapy and the maintenance staff for her, some very long nights establishing laundry services for Pullman Regional Hospital uh, during a huge unknown uh, time and a period. Uh, so thank you so much for doing that and, and really um, going above and beyond to to make that happen. Uh, to our environmental services staff, thank you. Uh, every day you're out there making sure that we have the best physical environment that we can have uh, for the safety of all of us. Uh, thank you for for so much of what you've done this past year. Uh, and of course, our maintenance 
uh, at Department, you guys have done just a tremendous job of, in terms of keeping the facility as safe as possible as well. To our materials department, wow, uh, you have to scrape and dig and claw and look for so many different places, uh, trying to find uh, PPE, uh, making sure that we have an adequate supply. Uh, John, I want to personally thank you and your entire staff. Uh, so appreciate uh, the efforts of everybody. Uh, look forward to 2021 when maybe uh, we can get through this and over it and, and look to better times. Well, once again, our teams stepped up to the challenge and they were each led by Diane Wittick. How she creates this practical ability to take all of this different science and infectious disease information and interpret it into how do we practice it here it is beyond my understanding how well she has done that. Dr. Gayheb and Verna um, Yaki, they worked with their teams along with respiratory care and rehab staff to really create a surge plan for inpatient care. And we've used that plan many times. We've had to modify it many times and it works well. We had this resource team led by Amber Roberts. It involved Katie Eiler, Anna Engel, Caitlin Carl, Catherine Wilkins, Diane Wittick, Tani Nichols, Verna and Stephanie. And um, they just kind of took on to this whole isolation practices, donning, doffing. Then we had Dana and Ed and Steve Cromer and Dave Reese. They created the OR recovery plan so that we could just really figure out how do we take care of a patient who has COVID but also needs to have surgery and how do we do it in the, for the patient's best care and for our employees too. And then there were so many people behind the scenes just keeping the operations going. And then there were these folks who were there trying to think of all the little things that could be helpful for our staff, like Elizabeth Hillman and Gina and Erin Richardson and her staff. Once again, we were a team. We're proud to be a team. That's how we're so successful. Thank you for stepping up to the challenge. We also want to recognize Julie Bishop, Catherine Wilkins, Christina Thornton, Brittany Kiddo, Tara Style, Jamie Carzoli, and Earl Marshall, who traveled to New York when they were inundated with COVID-19. We thank you all. Thank you, Pullman Regional Hospital. Thank you, Pullman Regional Hospital, for being there when your community needs you most. Hi, I'm Trisha Grantham. And I'm Joe Pitzer. We're commissioners for Pullman Regional Hospital. And we're here to just thank you all for your wonderful service to our community. Happy holidays. <laughs>